Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can measure and improve the speed of your LearnDash platform. Now, if you have a slow platform, it's going to be a frustrating experience for any learners on your courses because pages will take long times to load and it'll just affect their experience of your courses if your platform is slow. So it makes sense to pay attention to the speed of your site and improve it where you can. And the speed of your site can be affected by many things, including your web hosting, how many images and the size of the images are shown on your pages, plugins you've got installed, any caching and things like that. So there are various bits that influence this. So initially, if you're coming to this cold, one of the first things you should do is just you know, check the, the speed of your platform. And one way to do this is to just copy your platform's address, assuming it has a public facing page like this one, and then head to a site called gtmetrics.com. So it's gtmetrix.com. And from here, you can put in the address of your platform and then click test your site. And what this will do is download your site as a user would see it in another part of the world, in this case, a server in Canada. And it will check what is causing the site to be slow, you know, how quickly things are loading, and it will give you some suggestions on how you can improve this. So it'll take maybe a minute to run, and we can see that a, you know, a copy of the homepage has appeared there, so it's downloaded it, and what it's doing now is just generating the report. So we can see here, we have a GT metrics grade uh, of C. So, uh, you know, that's a fairly average score. It's saying that the performance has a score of 70% and the structure has a, you know, a score of 95. We have um, here a summary page, which shows sort of a speed visualization of the site. So this is almost like a timeline here. If you look at the top, and it's saying it took around six seconds for the page to load. And for the first two or so, there was nothing there. Then the images started loading and eventually everything sort of came together at the end. So it's saying that that's not the best, you know, it's, it's not terrible, but um, you know, pages should really be loading a bit quicker than that. At the you know, below that, we've got some top issues. You know, these are the issues that you should you know, try to uh, um, remedy in, in this order really. Some are harder to do than others. So things like the initial server response time, maybe they require some server settings you know, on the web hosting, but um, you know, there's certainly things like cache policies, images and things like that you could, that you can use to reduce the size of your pages and make them load a lot quicker. So if you wanted to really dig into the detail, what you can do is go into all of these performance tabs and you can see when things started to load and you know, a big list of what you can do and how you know it, all of the items on the site, and you can see there's quite a lot here, when they started to load and how long they took. So if you had a really big image by accident, for example, you would see that that takes a long time here and you'd see a big bar for whatever that image is. So we've got our benchmark here, C uh, and 70%. So let's have a look now to see if we can improve that. What I'm going to do is head back to my LearnDash platform and then go to the dashboard. I'm going to go to plugins and then add new. And there are lots of plugins for caching and performance improvements that you can get for WordPress. What we're going to do is search for one called Hummingbird. And this is by WPMU Dev. And we can see it's got five stars and 100,000 active installations. Uh, WPMU Dev created the Defender plugin, which is a, a security plugin that we've mentioned in a previous video. And what we like about their, their plugins is that they make things really easy to use. They've got really um, intuitive features. So I'm just going to install that now. And once it's installed, we can activate it. 
And once it's activated at the bottom here, we've got this hummingbird option. Now I'm just going to click on that first because what that will do is bring up the setup wizard for us to be able to improve our platform. So once the setup wizard loads, you'll see a page like this. And you can choose whether or not to enable tracking that is sent to Hummingbird to help improve their own metrics. I'll leave that off for now. And we'll just click get started. And what this will do is make some suggestions as to what you might want to optimize. And it will go through each of these and allow you to choose whether or not you want them on. I'm just going to leave them all on as the kind of the default settings. So the first one here is this speedy optimization which it says it minifies files and combines them um, so that there's fewer requests. So if you come back to here, one of the issues here was that um, there was uh, issues with lots of requests for different style sheets and JavaScript files and things like that. So what this is doing is trying to combine some of those together and uh, make them more efficient to load. So this takes uh, a little while to do because it's running through all of your sites uh, JavaScript and, and style sheets to, to try and combine these together. So what I might do is just pause the video for a second while this runs. So we're coming to the end of this now and that will now enable the asset optimization. We can also enable page caching which um, creates HTML copies of certain pages so that they load a lot quicker than they don't have to rely on you know, contents in your database and, and things like that. So you can select which aspects of the site are cached and we'll enable that. And then a few advanced tools. Again, we'll just keep those enabled and then um, we'll continue. And now the, the plugin itself has its own performance test, but just to keep things consistent, what we'll do is retest with the, um, with the same GT metrics platform. Worthwhile just checking your site yourself because uh, you know if it, it um, caching can sometimes cause some issues. So once you have done that, check your site, check your WordPress, your Learn Dash courses, and any aspects of that just to make sure that everything is working as it should be. But the proof will be in the retest here. So what we're going to do is click retest here in the top right. And it's going to test the site again. So as we can see, we've now made some improvements. We've gone up to a B and our performance is 76. And it's now saying that things are loading a bit quicker. The one main outstanding one is this high server response time, which is mainly to do with hosting, which yeah can take a bit of uh, working through, but uh, definitely an improvement there. So, uh, you know, the plugin has, has made a difference. So I hope you found that useful. And if you did, please give the video a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the Training Spark YouTube channel. We'd also be interested to hear if you have any ideas for videos or something that you might want to know about. If you do, just leave them in the comments and we might do a video on that at some point in the future.